Hi, I'm Enchanting Nubianette. Has anyone ever experienced a work thief taking your lunch or beverage from the staff kitchen fridge? I'm making a video on this new story because it's relatable to so many people here in the U.S. and around the world. While this European woman had enough of the kitchen or work thief, at work, a woman named Savannah realized that her colleague or colleagues were using her milk creamer. Each time she bought a new container, it would be used so quickly before the week's end. She only used a few drops or pours each time, so the work thief was really taking full advantage. This work thief was sampling other colleagues' foods too. Now, stealing was a blatant disregard to her and other employees' feelings, especially because their names were posted on their food and beverage. In one instance, her colleague's husband was a chef. He would prepare gourmet lunches for his wife. On a few occasions, that woman's lasagna, rice dishes, would have a portion missing. The work thief took scoops or samples for themselves. Another colleague's picture of juice was being utilized. It should have lasted for a week. It was near empty after two days or more on more than one occasion. That particular woman had an aha moment. She left a large post on her juice which said lab experiment. That idea worked. The work thief left it alone. In the summer, one colleague left string cheese in her car. The cheese was left there for three days. That employee placed it in the staff fridge and it was stolen, even though it was mostly melted. That work colleague confessed to having a spiteful idea, meaning to put a laxative or something worse in it, but she didn't. The employee said a lesson needs to be taught of not taking anyone's personal things. In my opinion, it's so unhygienic and creepy for a stranger to touch and take someone's food without permission. Just the thought of a person manipulating my personal items that I need to digest, it's an awful thought, awful feeling. Years ago, when I worked in a school, some of my colleagues would complain that a beverage, a dessert, and lunches were missing too. Mainly the kitchen thief would steal the boxes of takeout lunch. That particular thief did not steal the homemade meals. So if someone bought food the day before or that day and placed it in the fridge, it was gone by lunchtime. And after hearing about my coworkers' experiences, being hungry, looking forward to their lunches, and it's so cold disappearing, I decided to keep my food with me. During the spring, I brought sandwiches, packed meals, or anything that would not spoil easily. Winters, my lunch would be fine. I would actually put my lunch near the window. And my lunch time was 11 o'clock a.m., so it was fine, not too late. Back to the story. Instead of Savannah, continually replacing the milk, she decided to seek revenge. She used her breast milk to fill up the milk creamer container. Savannah was sick of paying for more creamer or milk or even complaining about the problem over and over again. After about a week or so, Savannah tacked on a note on the container. In writing, the note said in quotes, good morning, to whomever has been enjoying my coffee creamer all week. Surprise, you've been drinking my breast milk. Hope you've enjoyed. Cheers, P.S. it's organic, so no worries, end of quotes. Finally, a group of colleagues spoke up about the reoccurring problem. A camera was installed in the staff kitchen facing the fridge. An IT person took a screenshot the culprit was caught. A middle-aged woman was holding her colleague's food with a name tag on it. Previously, this work thief employee was considered a reputable worker. 
She had a good work ethic and demonstrated great skills. Plus, she was up next for promotion. Well, since she was caught, the employer made the decision to fire her. In the article, it wasn't mentioned if the woman ever expressed guilt for what she did. She took food from many people for several months or even over a year. Did the work thief even feel any remorse? In this case, I doubt it. My question is, why was this employed woman stealing her colleagues' lunches? Obviously, she can't afford to pay lunch independently for herself, even if she bought ingredients from the supermarket and made lunch at home. I assume the work thief has a huge problem with stealing and not having integrity overall. Usually those character traits carry over to other areas of the person's life. While researching online, I learned the character traits of someone who steals. They usually show they have an inability to resist, powerful urges to steal items they don't need. As I mentioned earlier, she was employed. She had the ability to buy inexpensive food for herself. Also, the person feels increased tension, anxiety, or arousal leading up to the theft. So the act of taking someone else's items gives them some type of rise or elation. There's also a feeling of pleasure, relief, or satisfaction while stealing. The ex-employer or kitchen thief really has an emotional, unstable personality disorder. And some thieves have a terrible guilt, remorse, self-loathing, shame, or fear of arrest after the theft. The bottom line is this middle-aged woman chose to take other people's items. I don't know if she ever apologized to the staff members either. We just don't know the real character of people in the workplace. Thankfully, the employer and employees found out who was committing a crime right under their noses. Please leave your feedback below. I'd like to hear what you think about this new story. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks a million and stay safe wherever you are.